Yeah. So in this session, uh, we'll be talking about the various methods of uh, list data type. So list is a sequential data type of Python, where the elements maintain order. And of course, you know, we can apply various methods of uh, list to carry out our task efficiently. Okay. So let us see one by one. How do we create a list? Okay. How do we okay, apply the various methods called append, pop, everything? Okay. So let me go to my uh, Anaconda Navigator. So first what I will do, I will just say uh, colors. I will create a list called colors with you know red and green as colors. So I will just say colors. So you can see here. So colors is a list of two elements where the elements are of type strings. Okay, red and green. Now I want to add one more element at the end. So what can I do? I can just do colors dot append. Okay, I want to append blue. Okay, then I'll just say colors control enter. You can see here red, green, blue. So when you say append, the new element gets appended or added at the end. Added at the end. Okay. So red, green, blue. We have three elements. Where three elements are of type string. Okay, fine. Now I want to remove that last element. So what can I do? I can just say colors dot pop. That's it. So if I say colors, now blue will go, only red and green will be there. Look at this. Red and green will be there. Okay, fine. So to remove the last element, just say pop. That's enough. Okay. Now I want to remove the first element. Okay, so what should I do? So what I can using pop, you can just say colors dot pop and I'll say okay index. What is the index of red? It is zero. So what I'll just say? See, because red is at zero, green is at one. So when I say colors dot pop zero, I'll I will have red got removed and only green will be there. Look at this. Only green is there. Okay, fine. So this is how you use append pop and pop a specific element at a given index position everything. Okay, fine. Now, suppose if I if I try to add more than one element, more append more than one element, let us see what happens. Now, so colors is having only green. I want to add, okay, look at this. I will like say colors dot append. I will just say, okay, I want more than one. So, I will put a square bracket, then I will say uh, red, comma, blue. So, my idea is I want to add Apart from green, I want red and blue also to be added. Okay, let us see the output, but the output will be something okay different. Look at this. Yeah, what happened? So you see, red and blue they were not added as individual elements okay, as green, but they were added as a sublist. So I should not do this. I don't want this. I want red and blue just like you know green. So what can I do? So what I'll just go here. Okay, I will just check it. See. Uh, what I'll, I'll just remove this. So see, I can just pop out the entire sublist. See how I appended the sublist. I can just pop out. So I can just say colors dot pop. That's enough. Look at this. When I say pop, both red and blue, that sublist will go. Look at this colors. Only green will be. There. Now we can apply what we want. Now what do I want? I want the red and blue to be added individually. So I just say colors dot extend. You have to say extend, not append, extend. So if you want to add one single element, give append. When you want to add a group of element and every element in that group should be added individually, then you should say extend. I will say red, comma, blue. Now let me check colors. Look at this. Yeah, this is what we want. Fine. So green, red, blue, we got three colors. Now apart from this, we extended, we popped, okay, then I can, you know, remove some element. Well, how can I remove it? I can just go here, colors dot remove, okay, a specific, okay, color I can remove. I can just say, I want to remove red. Then I'll say colors, look at this, only green and blue are. Okay, green and blue are. Okay, fine. So remove it, it requires a specific element as parameter. But pop, 
requires the index or position of an element. That's the difference between pop with an index and remove. See, pop with an index will remove that element at a given index or position. But remove, it does not, okay, it, it won't work with, you know, index position. It works with the value. So, you have to say colors dot remove red. Fine, then only remove, red will be removed. Okay, so these are some of the methods. I think then I think we can just uh, I think we talked about insert and insert. Okay, let us see insert. So I say I'll just say uh, colors are now the colors are green and blue. Now I want to insert a new color called you know red between green and blue. So what can I do? Colors dot insert give the position. So between green and blue means position will be one, and new color will be red. See, green is at 0, blue is at 1, but I want red to be at 1. So, blue will move right. Okay, blue will be moving one position towards its right, towards its left, actually. So, you can just see colors. You see, green, red, blue. Red got inserted at index position 1. Right? So, then we can have uh, index. Index means, you know, the index of that uh, particular element. For example, Colors dot index of uh, I want blue. Okay. So, what is index of blue will be 2. Look at this 2. We got 2. Okay, because blue is at position 2. Right? Now, the difference between pop, I told you know, pop with an index position and uh, remove. See, pop normally returns the value also. See, whatever elements are removed from the list, it is getting returned as a value, but remove just removes it. When you give a value, you know, it just removes that value. It won't return that value. Okay, suppose you see, uh, I just say colors green, red, blue. Now I'll just see, I'll pop you know uh, red actually, and the item will be here. Color is equal to colors dot pop pop at one. So at one means red will be removed, but colors will look at this. I will print both color and uh, colors. See, color and colors. See, color will be red and colors will be green and blue. Look at this. See, color is red because we removed. But colors contains now what is remaining? Only green and blue. So, they are also shown. Okay, fine. So, pop always you know, returns the value which you removed from the list. Okay, fine. So, I think now with this introduction, we can write a small uh, program okay, through which you know uh, we can create a menu driven program. I will add, append, I will pop something like that. Okay? So, I will just say print. Okay, it is an interesting program. This pattern, okay, repetition, basically repetition uh, 80 times. Okay? Because normally a screen is 80 column screen actually. So, I will just say, yeah, but you know it is more. So, I will make it 79. Because one star coming at the bottom, so we'll make it as 79. Look at this 79 stars we got. Then I'll say print. Okay, I want uh, uh, append thing to appear and dot center with 79 characters. That means what this one dot append will be centered okay across the 79 stars. Okay, fine. 79 stars means I give star. Look at this. Look at this. It, it's, it's a beautiful menu. Look at this. One means append. So one dot append is centered to the all the 79 stars. Then I'll just say okay, pop. Two will be pop. Pop. Okay, look at this. Two is pop. Looks nice. Then I'll just say okay. Pop means it removes the last element and I will say remove. Remove means uh, remove a specific element. You have to provide the element. So, look at this. Third will be removed. Okay, third will be removed. Fine. So, in 1 and 3, you have to provide what element to be appended. Okay, so I will just copy this. Control V. Look at this. The menu is completed. Look at this. So, uh, if the menu has to run, uh, then I need to have a loop, loop kind of thing and I need to have a choice. 
So I'll say CHO is equal to int of input enter your choice. Enter your choice. Okay, fine. So the user may enter either one or two or three. Okay, so look at this. Uh, so he enters. I just print the choice. Look at this. Then we'll do enter your choice. I'll say one. One dot print. Okay, fine. Now what I'll do, I can use an if condition. Okay, and I can create a list also. So you see empty list, just say my data. Data is equal to an empty list. So I just give control enter. So that, that gets executed. The data way list is available, empty list is available for us to manipulate here. Okay, in the below cell, below uh, down below. Okay, now so the code has to be changed. See, uh, if CHO is equal to one, then what does it mean? We want to append data. For appending, we need some data, now, so that should be taken. So I'll just copy this. Control V. I'll call val. Enter your value. Value to be appended. Appended. Okay. Fine. So once if we got the value, we need to apply on the data list. So I'll say data dot append append val. Then immediately you can just display the data list so that the user knows okay what we appended got added. Got added. Okay, fine. Then I'll just copy this. Control C, Control V. See if choice is two. Okay, choice two means pop. So pop does not need anything. So you just delete this. Data dot pop. That's it. So the last element will be removed. Fine. I'll put L if. Okay. Then if the third choice is for you know uh, what is a uh, remove. So when it's choice is three, choice is three. So you have to take value. Look at this. Enter your value to be removed. Remove. Okay. So here you call data dot remove. Then that val you have to supply that val. Okay. Fine. So you can see here. So you can just see. Okay. Now I want you know this to be repeated for uh, quite number of times. So let us say I will have something like this. Four means exit. So else, else I'll just say break. Okay. So this loop, you know, I'm going to put it inside a while loop. While true. Okay, while true. So the moment he enters other than one, two, three, any other value, it will just end. He just end. Look at this. Now I just uh, run this. Yeah, I got a running. Center choice one. Value to be appended. I'll just say okay. Red. Red. Okay, so something wrong. We'll just solve the problem. Uh, red. Oh, so it should be. Okay, okay. Because the value, you know, so I should make it this way. The value to be appended, I'll just remove this int. Okay, enter the value to be removed. I'll just say, okay, remove this also. Because I want to add some text information. That's it. Because we can make it dynamic later on. Right now, you know, it, it just, uh, the, the list gets all its element as a string. Okay, so you see, choice is uh, one. I want to append. So I'll just say red. Okay, look at this. We got red as output. Then I want to add one more uh, entry choice. One uh, red, blue, RGB. So green. So it should not be within single quotation. It should be directly entered. Look at this. Red and green. Then again choice one. I'll just say blue. Blue. So again, the red, green, blue you've got. Okay. Then I'll just say uh, second. That means pop. Look at this. Blue got removed. Because a direct pop. Okay, again, I want you know uh, choice is three. 
enter the value to be removed, I'll just say, I think, uh, red. So, I got only green. Only green is there. Okay. So, like this, you, know, you can write a dynamic uh, Python application which uh, creates a menu. So, the menu is created like this. Look at this. Look at this. See, the menu is created like this. Okay. What does it mean? This string is centered, okay, for 79 characters with star, star symbol. So that is how you get, you know, see, one append at the center, two pop at center, three remove at center, everything. Okay, fine. So this is how you create a dynamic list with a lot of values. Okay, of course, you know, this list can be add, add appended with, you know, other types of elements also. Okay, that and all we will do in our extension. Okay, hope this session was useful. We'll meet in the next demonstration. Thank you.